All right. What is going on, everyone? First and foremost, I want to say thank you for being here right now, watching this video. I'd really appreciate you for your time, and I'd really appreciate if you do consider subscribing because it truly does help me out a lot. Now, we got Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, man. Um, oh, this is this. this, this it, 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 it's a. They're hyping up the fight a lot, man. I can't lie. They're really hyping up the fight. Even though it's, what, a month away? A month and a few weeks. Um, April 20th, it's taking place. But this fight is really getting hyped up. It's really getting amped up and things like that. But um, Ryan Garcia doesn't seem to be phased. Too phased at all at the end of the day. He's already focused on future opponents. What he's going to do in his future like facing a UFC champion Sean O'Malley and things like that he he doesn't seem to be taking Devin Haney too seriously and if anything he's pretty much mocking him at the end of the day but yeah man and Devin Haney seems to be taking this very very seriously you know what I mean he's gonna set an example out of this guy and he seems like he Devin Haney is looking for any reason to basically hold a grudge and bring his full power and full anger into that boxing ring because simply because he was stating that Ryan Garcia was disrespecting his religion and he can't let that slide he's taking it very personal but Ryan Garcia said no that wasn't the case at all I never disrespected your religion even if he did he apologized boom good <laughs> you know what I mean but as you can see Devin Haney is taking this very very seriously and while on the other s other hand, um, Ryan Garcia doesn't seem to be phased at all by Devin Haney. And apparently, he showed up to the press conference a little drunk or I don't know what's going on. But Devin Haney said he smelled like beer. And I don't know what's going on with Ryan Garcia. You know what I mean? But that's besides the point. Um, Ryan Garcia basically came out stating that Floyd Mayweather showed him a tape of Devin Haney getting slapped by no 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 one else except for Javante Tank Davis. <laughs> you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, a lot of allegations and things have been made that Devin Haney did get in fact slapped by Javante Tank Davis. Even before Ryan Garcia started coming out, coming out saying, "Oh, he got," I seen him get knocked down, things like that. Um, Javante Tang Davis was insinuating that <laughs> he knocked out Devin Haney at one point. But at the end of the day, you can't hold that against Devin Haney because he was a lot younger. You know what I mean? You live and you learn. At the end of the day, he was a lot younger, and Javante Tang Davis was a lot older than him. So, with that being said, man, is 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 Javante Tank Davis was a lot older, so at the end of the day, can't really hold that against Devin Haney, man. So it is what it is, and yeah, man. So without further ado, let's play the video. Like I seen the video of Devin Haney getting his ass knocked out by Tank Davis. I personally seen the video. I think he got mad that I said that, but I personally seen the video. Oh, thank you. Devin Haney is knocked out almost cold by Tank Davis. I seen it with my own eyes. Adrian Broner did hop in the ring. Dan Haney, I'm going to give it to him. You were probably only 19 years old at that point, but you got your ass rocked and you know it. And at the end of the day, Ryan Garcia has literally zero reason to lie. You know what I mean? Um, if he was lying, other people would come out and be like, oh, he's lying. Floyd Mayweather would be, oh, he's spreading false allegations. But nobody else is talking about, oh, Oh, Ryan Garcia is spreading false allegations and things like that. Where these allegations have been spreading before even Ryan Garcia mentioned that he that he seen him get knocked out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm talking about like Floyd Mayweather was just chilling with him, showed him the tape. Like, hey, look at this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was nothing. But yeah, man. Oh. But I'm only saying allegedly and allegations only because. The, the tape is not public. But at the end of the day, Devin Haney knows he got rocked, man. He knows he got rocked, but he 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 he, he publicly denies it. But deep, deep inside, he knows what's going on, man. You can't hide that. You can't hide the pain. Let's go. Ryan Garcia, 
you know, Sorry. and he got hurt. What pups did he get hurt with uh, on the tank? Multiple. <laughs> right, you're the pup. cracked and then tank took off on him. Was it a sequence of punches? Yeah, it was a lot of punches. Bro. Right, you're the now, I'm sure by now, we've all seen the skirmish between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney a couple weeks ago, where they were talking trash and pushing each other back and forth, and Devin slapped Ryan in the back of his head. Ryan choked Devin, grabbed him by his neck, and they exchanged some trash talk back and forth. Well, one of the biggest points that people were talking about from that video was Ryan Garcia mentioning that Floyd Mayweather showed him a clip of the sparring session at the Mayweather gym between Gervonta Tank Davis and Devin Haney. With Ryan saying, I saw the clip. I saw the video. I saw Tank rock you, like he said, and Adrian Broner hop in the ring. Well, now that they officially kicked off the media tour for their fight on April 20th, Ryan's been doing interviews, and of course, he's been being asked about it. And as you saw, he's doubling down on what he said, that he saw the video of Gervonta Tank Davis and Devin Haney sparring. And just like Gervonta Tank Davis said, he hurt Devin Haney in that sparring session. Now, as we all know, there's been two sparring sessions between Gervonta Davis and Devin Haney, one at the Upton Boxing Gym in Baltimore and the other at the Mayweather Boxing Gym in Las Vegas. Now, what happened in the first one is clear. Bill Haney already confirming that he had to pull Devin out of the ring before he got hurt. Bill mentioned that Devin would have kept going if he allowed it, but Bill decided that he saw enough and what he needed to see and pulled Devin out the ring before he got hurt. The second sparring session is where things start to get funny. The end result is clear. Everybody has the same story of the end result because it's easy. There was money bet, and one team walked away with the money, which was Team Devin Haney. But what actually happened in the sparring is a debate. You got one side and Devin Haney's side. Devin Haney, his father Bill Haney, and his former coach Floyd Mayweather Sr. saying that the sparring wasn't even competitive. You got Tank Davis' side, Floyd Mayweather, Tank Davis, Adrian Broner, all saying that Tank wasn't in shape. It was good work back and forth early. And then Devin took over in the later rounds. And also that Tank hit Devin with a big shot. And Adrian Broner had to jump in the ring. But nobody knew who side to believe. Because of course, those guys are going to take up for their fighter. Floyd and AB are going to take up for Tank. Floyd Sr. and Bill are going to take up for Devin. But the two neutral parties that have spoke publicly on the situation... When you listen to them talk, their stories align more with the side of Tank Davis. Badu Jack and Nate Jones both said that it was good work in the beginning. Tank landing big shots and Devin taking over towards the later round and ultimately winning. And what Ryan Garcia is claiming to see in his video also backs up the claims of Team Gervonta Davis. As you heard Ryan Garcia say. But yeah, man, as you can see, bro, like... These allegations have been have been going on, going on, going on. So allegedly, there's even a tape that <laughs> Floyd Mayweather just has in his car or wherever, just a tape that he can literally just show everyone and anyone the tape and just be like, "Hey, look at this!" <laughs> like, bro, Devin Haney is a laughing stock to Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> you know what I mean, but. It is what it is, bro. At the end of the day, man, you can't hold that against them because just simply because Devin Haney was a lot younger, man. So, yeah. So, at, But at the end of the day, he did get slapped, bro. He did get slapped. Yeah, man. It is what it is. And like I said, he was a lot younger. He he, he improved a lot more, clearly. He, he improved a lot more as he got older. But, yeah, man. Without further ado, gonna end the video here. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you think Ryan Garcia is lying, man. Because nobody ever came out talking about saying like Ryan Garcia is lying. Nobody, except for the guy who got knocked allegedly got knocked out, Devin Haney and his team. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. But without further ado, peace out, man.